Hey, welcome to another episode of GeekOutdoors.com. So one of the most beloved game systems of all time is the Sega Dreamcast. I absolutely love this system. And over the years, thanks to the amazing emulation community, we are able to relive a lot of our favorite gaming console classics. And today I'm gonna to be going over my favorite Sega Dreamcast emulator, which is called Redream. And I'm gonna show you how it works on the PC. I'm gonna show you how it works on my phone. And also on my favorite streaming gaming box is the Nvidia Shield. So let's go ahead and take a look at Redream. So whenever you come to the site, you do have the option to download this on all major operating systems. Windows, Mac, and Linux. So if you come here to download now, the majority of people would choose the light version, which I think will work for like 99% of people, but you also have the option to go premium. And the premium, the main difference is it gives you like high definition rendering. And for me, I decided to do this because I do want to support the developers and for $5, you get a lifetime license. So that's what I did here. And once you purchase the premium version, you can just simply download the license key. And we're gonna go ahead and check that out now. Okay, so once you actually have Redream downloaded, this will pretty much work exactly the same on any platform, whether in Windows, Mac, or Linux. And you'll get this compressed file in Linux, it's a tar file, in Windows, it's a zip, and in Mac, I think it's a tar file as well. All you have to do is right click on it and extract here, and you will get the Redream file. You don't have to do any other setup besides getting the ROMs themselves, and there's plenty of tutorials on how to do that. So the first thing I'm gonna show you is how this looks like on the free version. And then I'm going to show you how it looks like with the premium version. And when you purchase it, you will get the key. So let's go ahead and start this up. And so what it's first going to do is go to your library path. You will have to set that at the beginning and it'll look at all the games that you have. Other options you have on input. I normally don't mess with this. It does a good job of auto detecting, but you can change this. And then here's going to be where the big difference are between the free version and the premium. Uh, these are all your video options here. You can make it full screen or not. Your window size can go max up to 1600 by 1900. And then your aspect ratio, you can choose four by three, 16 by nine, or stretch. I just leave it at four by three because the other aspect ratios look weird. Now this is important, this polygon sort accuracy. It defaults to per strip, but as you increase it, the higher the number, the better the emulation, but it does require more hardware power. And then the final part is system, where you can adjust these depending upon what region and your broadcast right here, your PAL, NTSC, cable, RGB, composite, and VGA. So I normally just leave these alone, but you could come adjust it depending on where you live. Now, let's go ahead and start one of these games up. Now, I will say that the emulation isn't exactly perfect, but it is very good and it performs very well. Now, you can see there's some uh, glitches right there. But overall, I think for anybody who just wants to get in and play some casual gaming, this is awesome. Um, everything works as you would expect. Uh, the sound quality, the graphics, I think it's excellent. You know, um, I really have little to no complaints on this. And as you can see here, it runs very fast. And um, it pretty much plays just like I remember, you know. And there are some slight graphical issues sometimes that pop up. But I would say like 95% of the game is here. Uh, it's very faithful and it looks, it looks great to me, you know. Uh, like I said, it's, in my opinion, the best Dreamcast emulator overall. And it does support a lot of games. It's highly compatible. So you can see how that works there. Works great. So now let's go ahead and uh, check out the high resolution mode. And uh, that, that comes with their premium version. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this key. Let me just... I'll copy it over here just to kind of show you how that works so that's all you have to do it has to be in the same folder that you have redream so now let's go ahead and restart that and now under video you have a new option you have this internal resolution which you could go up past 4k okay um, I think that's past 4k right there it's pretty high so that's my resolution on my actual computer so let's go ahead and try that out to see the difference and we'll go ahead and go with the same game and this will simply allow a higher resolution now it's kind of hard for you to see here uh, but it is clear and the resolution it's way higher just things just looks clean and like I said you might have to look really closely but that's what you're gonna get everything just looks a lot cleaner 
and there even though there's jagged edges you have to remember this did come out a long time ago it looks better okay now uh, is it worth five dollars it really depends on you uh, but for me I primarily purchased the premium because I do want to support the developers for producing this and providing this to all us gamers and let's go ahead and start this out so as I said earlier um, just the free version itself will be great for most people uh, but if you actually wanted this high resolution mode I highly recommend that you get this and you do support the developer so great stuff overall I really have very little complaints man I mean and the little complaints are just nitpicking you know what I mean so overall that is redream at least on the actual PCs um, I'm gonna show you how this works like on your phones and most importantly on the Nvidia Shield which is where I spend most of my time using Redream. Okay so I'm gonna give you another example of this high resolution mode and I think Daytona looks a lot better. So as you can tell here things just look cleaner, the textures and the overall look I just like this better uh, and this is actually at a 2K resolution whatever upscaling that they're using. So overall I think for the premium version if you actually wanted to get just cleaner better looking resolution then I think it's worth it and once again you are helping out the developers of Redream so I would recommend that you go ahead and upgrade and get this version. So now that you've seen how Redream performs on the PC let's take a look at the other two areas starting with your smartphone. Now playing a Sega Dreamcast on a smartphone is something I thought would be simply impossible but it is able to run on your phone and you don't necessarily need the most powerful phone like right here I have an older LG G5 and once you get the Redream app downloaded and you get the game on there simply just start it up and w once you see the quality on this look at that I mean that is pretty incredible obviously it does use virtual controls and it looks exceptional to me and it performs pretty well now obviously some games it's going to be hard to play with a virtual control something like Soul Calibur but overall you're basically having your Dreamcast on your phone and so the final place I have Redream running on is on my Nvidia Shield uh, for me I absolutely love playing this on my Nvidia Shield as I do with all the other emulation that I have because it's the most convenient and the Nvidia Shield is pretty powerful and the way things work on the Nvidia Shield is the same as it does on a PC and phone but I will say that in terms of resolution if you do go above anything like 2K or above it's going to struggle on most games but every other game it runs really well now I have it at a resolution of 1920 by 1440 and I have my polygon at 64 layers and everything else is the same so let me go ahead and show you an example of how well this performs and whenever I do run it on my Nvidia Shield uh, I do also have the paid version so it allows me to adjust the resolution as you've seen there and it does make a difference whenever you are playing games but as you can see here things just look great uh, it's very sharp and like I said the performance is excellent for the majority of games I would say like 98% of all the games that are played on uh, it looks great it plays great uh, but there are some games that actually run better at a lower resolution and so it's really up to you to just play around with this and to see which ones uh, work best for you but overall this is an amazing experience and the reason why I enjoy having it on the Nvidia Shield the most is because the Nvidia Shield is made for you to play on your couch, you know, hooked up to your TV, uh, and it's just a lot easier that way. Uh, but I will say the overall presentation, it will look best on your PC, especially if you have a powerful PC with a you know, great CPU and GPU. And so that is how it looks on the Nvidia Shield. And I'd say if you do have an Nvidia Shield, uh, you probably already have this on here anyway, but if you have other things that you're using for the Sega Dreamcast, I'd highly recommend that you try Redream. Uh, I think it works the best overall. It's the easiest to use. And as you can see here, it looks fantastic. And so that is Redream. This is an absolutely fantastic Sega Dreamcast emulator. And as you've seen from this video, it works well whether you're on a PC, smartphone, or Nvidia Shield, or any other streaming box. And so if you are a Sega Dreamcast fan, 
then this is a no-brainer. And if you actually wanted to get the higher resolution, then I do highly recommend that you get the paid version. Not only will you get a better look, but at the same time, you will be supporting these developers. So if you actually had any thoughts on Redream or any other Sega Dreamcast emulator, be sure to leave that in the comments area below. And if you did want to see my entire review of my NVIDIA Shield, I will also leave that in the description area as well. So as always, if you did get value out of these videos, be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey geeks, if you are a creative geek like me and you wanted to learn how to create content on YouTube and other places on the internet, then check out my Gold Content Creators Group where you'll get access to 30 videos plus additional content for all the creative geeks out there. And the best part of it is, all of this is free. Simply head over to the link below, check out my page, and sign up for my Gold Content Creators Group. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the other side. Thanks for checking out this episode. And as always, if you like these videos, be sure to click on the subscribe button. And for full written content, audio content, and additional geek stuff, head over to geekoutdoors.com. And I'll see you outdoors on the very next episode.